outdoor baseball now from the warehouse district and target field here in into the box now Willie McCovey and we are set for baseball here this evening popped him up and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Davis is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So striding forward now, Steve Finley, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Down the left field line and deep. And this will wind up a foul ball. Wind up and the 0 1. Skied into straightaway right. Davis is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. At the plate, Matt Joyce. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch coming, here it is. And that misses for ball one. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Here's the one one now to Joyce. That's a and that one stayed too low, apparently. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. The two two is looked at, and the count moves full. Logan Forsythe waits on deck. Pulled toward right center field. Finley is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. At the plate, Logan Forsythe. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss. Addison Reed. Six foot four inch right hander comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. It's a swing and a high pop up. McCovey is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Here's Albert now looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Albert. He lays off there, 1 0. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. 3 and 0 oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. Reed sets. 0 oh 1 on its way. Takes a high fastball for a strike. And this one gets away. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him. Now with the plate, Yasiel Puig. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Right fielder, Yasiel Lewicki isn't really known as the kind of starter that goes deep into games. It's not that he isn't capable, I'm sure. He just hasn't been that guy that works deep into games with regularity. Matty V, I'm not sure it's this guy's fault, but I think it's more the fault of the metrics and the way we look at it. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. Gone to lead off the inning. Stepping in, Jonathan Scope. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. And it's 0-2 to Scope. Hey, sped him up, slowed him down. Got him down 0-2. I think he could pretty much go anywhere right here. I'd be surprised if anything misses over the hard
Base is empty here with nobody out. Smoke on the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Ready now, Chris Herman. Oliver Perez takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Showing bunt here, but he takes ball one. Scope gets his lead at first, nobody out. Runners off for second. Now a bunt attempt here. The tag, and he is out. Digging in, Trevor Plouffe. And this one's chopped foul. Play. Now a swing, and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. Count remains at 0-2. A pause, and the 0-2. Hit hard up the middle. Forsyth is there. Throw in time at first for out number two. Taylor Motter steps into the box. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. From the belt, the pitch. And he got him. Minimizing the damage. Now at the plate, JT Realmuto, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. And that's in there for his strike one and one. The bouncer to the left side. Mutter from the outfield grass. And there's one away. In now. What? Tie block. A six foot one inch south. Now Here comes the first pitch. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Conforto can be considered a bit of a one-dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right-handed pitcher's hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left-handers at the same level. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Here's Chris Davis now. Right fielder. First pitch of the at-bat. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. Here it comes. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey, I don't blame him for fouling that one away. His eyes lit up right there. He did not expect a change up up in the zone with two strikes. Got to regroup. Popped him up. Clue moving to his left. And that's the third out. Cody Bellinger will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Third inning starts with a slider that's looked at here for ball one. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. He's short, hit hard. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Digging in, Willie McCovey. His last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Joyce is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Giancarlo Stanton now, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Forsyth, right there. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Ready for another chance. Steve Finley, he flew out in his last at bat. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the move is Joyce. And he makes the catch in the corner.
Brad Brock, a right-hander standing now six foot six. Take over. First delivery to him on the way, way out in front. Oh, one's the count. Takes a knee-high fastball. I got the count. Oh, into. Ball one. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Adding nine. Edgar, Oliver, Colby Rasmus will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. All right. Number 28. Hold high in the Rasmus. air out to right field. On the move is Puig. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Here's Matt Joyce oh, now. Number 23. Matt. Luis Avilon, a six. And it looks like we'll see a pinch hitter here as Jason Worth begins to stretch in the on deck circle. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Avilon stands 6-2 and throws from the left side. He offers up a two-seamer, four-seam fastball, a changeup, a curve, and a sinker. Two and one the count to Jason Worth. Called strike two as he locks him up there. Liner towards second. He gets dirty, but he can't get there, and it's into center field. So the bottom of the inning is still alive after the two-out base hit. At the plate, Logan Force. Now batting, second baseman, Logan Force. Number two will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Now time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever. Daniel Hudson takes over here with the runner at first, and two gone in the inning. First pitch coming, here it is. And a neck-high fastball that time. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. Skull is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. In a close game like this, you look for that one guy who produced when it mattered most, and this is the guy. He's our tops player of the game. Well, when your one hit of the game is a home run, and it ends up being a really critical one, you have to feel pretty good. It wasn't a huge day on the stat sheet, but it led his...